blue sky in front of him going straight up. He can only look over his left shoulder to see the horizon turning on the wing. That's what gives him the clue about where the... He comes back. Then hard rudder and hard back stick. Roll the aircraft around. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Nose over tail, end over end. And yes, you can put your hands together for that move. Rob Harrison, one of the most accomplished professional aerobatic pilots in the United States today. Okay, I hear you there, Rob. Let's know that he's going to do another double. Let's see whether he can get the tumbling action out of it. It takes a lot of energy to pull this, uh, this action out. That's the way he does it on a Sunday afternoon. Four wheel airplanes, it's always a little tricky there because you've got to keep dancing on the road as they touch down, particularly with any crosswind. Make sure that you get the landing all nice and stable. Anyway, Rob's got himself all set up, wiggled his tail and repeat a little bit, which uh, one always does. It enables you to uh, get comfortable as you set up the landing. Okay, a good approach is always a good landing. Bob looking down, tilting the wing down just a little bit. Holding it off, holding it off. And it's touch. Well, I guess it's anyone you can walk away from. <laughs> Rob Harrison, ladies and gentlemen, don't tell anybody. Now the Bunner and Nelson. Boy, when these guys fly together, they all fly together. And taking to this guy right now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Culver, with his dedication to the American vet. And incidentally, Rob Harrison has some uh, great pens and souvenir tattoos and uh, some cards, all kinds of stuff that Rob has got out there, as he can figure out. Canadian pilots who took them to war. The AT-6 SNJ 
taught more of our military pilots to fly advanced training. This was their final step before stepping into one of the big North American or Grumman fighter aircraft. This AT-6 SNJ taught most of our pilots to fly. What's now is John Royal over this time, ladies and gentlemen. The gear was up. The AT-6 SNJ that John is flying served with the Marine Corps and the Navy during the Marine Corps. It shows you how old the aircraft is, because of course, as you know, we're all the way up to WD-40 now.